Hey everybody, I just got a 2012 Chevy Volt, which looks great on this side, but the driver's side is all smashed up and it needs the driver's seat replaced. So let's fix it up. So I'm working on removing the front seat here. So I've got it slid all the way forward and there's a Torx uh, T50 bolt right here that I pulled out. Uh, but the other one, a little trickier because it had this cover and for the life of me, I could not figure out what direction to pull it. I actually pulled out the one on the other side to get a look and then I could figure out how to do this one. Basically, you want to pull it from the, uh, the forward edge, try to get under there, pry a little bit, and then pull it back this way. And then I can get in at this uh, Torx bolt and take that out. And then all the way under the seat, once I got the back unbolted, I could tilt this up. And down under that little flap was the little yellow connector, goes to the heated seats, airbag sensor, all that kind of stuff. And now there's kind of hooks in the front, I think. I just have to kind of angle this up and pull this back. Now, so there's the front seat. I'm just gonna pull it right out through the back of the car. Okay, just got the driver's seat out. As you can tell, the reason why I wanted that out was it was all torn out, which looks terrible, but also means the seat heater won't work. So with the driver's seat out, uh, probably first thing I want to do is vacuum this. Uh, you know, this is one of those spots where you can never get a vacuum with the seat in there. Um, under this little hatch here is where the cord uh, for all the electrical connections to the seat is. I'm just a little afraid of opening the back door because I'm not sure it'll actually latch again. And I don't have the replacement doors yet, but I just got to check everything to uh, see how the doors work because I have to pull the doors off the other car first. So I think I'm going to just try opening this up. And I'm really hoping this just pops right open. The door will not unlatch. So I'm not sure how I'm going to get this off. Um, good question. We'll see. Might just have to start taking this whole thing apart. I thought I'd try working on the hinge side of the door first. So there's this rubber cover over the electrical. You have to push down on the top to be able to flip it open. And then underneath is the wiring for the door itself. Um, I used a screwdriver to stick in the top and then it's sort of a lever on this magenta purple color. And with that flipped all the way open, then I could disconnect the wiring. After that, I used my 10 millimeter socket to remove the four bolts that holds the door onto the hinges. But even with the hinges removed, the door still barely budged at all. It could wiggle a little bit, but it was very solid on the latch. So looks like I had to take apart the door from the inside. There was really no good way to go about this. I just uh, had my work gloves and started pulling to see if I could get the interior panel off. Uh, once I did, I cut, I pried, I pulled out the bolts. I did anything I could to get uh, some more of the material out of the way, uh, including working on the latch and cable. But altogether, I still could not get the door open from the inside. So I switched tactics. I figured I needed to get directly to the latch, so I pulled out my drill with my step drill bit in it and just started making a bunch of holes to see if I could get at the latch itself. I pried open the sheet metal and then I could actually see the latch, but I still needed a little bit more room to work, so I got out my angle grinder. Now that I could actually see the door mechanism, it was kind of obvious why it wasn't working. There was a whole lot of uh, broken parts that came out of there. Um, but down near the bottom, uh, that silver metal bit, that's the actual release itself. And now I could just simply unlatch the door. So 
So as we can see here, a bunch of broken glass and the fasteners I pulled off the door. Uh, the only thing holding the door on right now is the little door closer thingamajigger here. And with the door closed, I could not get at that. So I'll pull this off now and then I can take the door out. Over actually by the door latch, there's a little bit of a crease in the sheet metal here. I should be able to pull this dent out, but the tricky part might be just right here. Make sure it looks good, closes nice. Woo! Progress! So the front door is not actually too bad. The mirror is smashed, pretty big dent here. Other than that, not too terrible, except that the door handle doesn't work. So I have to leave the window down to uh, Dukes of Hazard it or at least reach inside. Uh, not great though, because hey, it's winter, which means window is always gonna be up, which means I gotta go to the passenger side, reach across to unlock this, which is a pain. So I'm gonna take this off. On the front door, I removed the bolt for the door closer first, and then I unplugged and removed the electrical connection. After that, it was just a matter of getting at the bolts. It's a little harder to get at these bolts on the front door than the back door, so make sure you use the very short socket to get in there. I saved the top bolt for last and made sure to lift on the door while I was removing that. After that, it was just a matter of carrying the door out. <laughs> this door weighs twice as much as the other one. One thing I did find out was that even without doors, the car drove just fine, although I did have to sit on a box. Well, here we go. This is what the car looks like without doors. I also vacuumed it out, got rid of all the glass and everything else. Uh, feels much more open without the doors and the driver's seat. Uh, and actually, I can still drive it, which is kind of cool. It does give a airbag warning and a, hey, your door's open warning. Uh, but it does let you drive, which is pretty cool. So I'll have to put this way in the garage and uh, go and get those other doors and seat so I can get this thing on the road. I was feeling pretty good about getting the doors off. Tune in next time when we'll go over to the salvage vehicle and pull the doors and driver's seat out of that. I hope you like these videos. Uh, please check out 300mpg.org, subscribe to this channel, and hit the little notifications bell. Until next time, stay charged up.